Yo, what's up guys, it is Seahawks Area back with another video, and today is part 2 of my new Retro Bowl College Virginia Tech season. Last episode we beat Tulane 49-28 to in the season opener. This week we're taking on NC Baptist. No idea who or what that is, so hopefully in the thumbnail I got the right thing for their jersey or logo or whatever. They are 1-0, we are 1-0, they have half stars across the board, we got 1.5 star offense, 2.5 star defense. Let's get this going. Alright. Alright, they score a touchdown. Boom. Let's get this going. I almost hit the running back thing, but I forgot we don't have a running back. Brents though with a great start for 24. Nice. Okay. I like uh, I like a red jerseys. Uh, really uh, really really cool because red's my favorite color. Or unless that's like orange. Well, it looks red, so it's probably red. Eleven yards. Okay, so Michael Gallup signed a one-year deal worth up to three million dollars with the Raiders. <laughs> That could be decent for him, like, good receiver three, I guess. Um, Makai Becton signed a one-year deal with the Eagles, trying to resurrect his career, because it is not off to the greatest start, but he is always injured, so maybe a fresh start and touchdown. Fresh start will help with that, I have no idea. All right. Kicker's name is Utah, and it's good. Tied at seven. And they punt. Chargers running back J.K. Dobbins is 100% excited to reunite with Gus Edwards and Greg Roman. Why would anyone be excited to be with Greg Roman on their coaching staff? Besides the fact that he's a running back. And Roman loves running backs. Loves running the football. Maybe that's why the oops, maybe that's why the Chargers drafted Joe Alt, so they can have protection for running the football. We'll see though in a few months. And a Brent's touchdown. Travis Kelsey agrees to a new two-year, thirty-four point two five million dollar extension with the Chiefs. Uh, I don't know where they're getting all this money from, but. Well, no, whatever, I guess. Probably going to end as the best tight end of all time if he already isn't. I got no idea. <laughs> I think he will, actually. Patriots defensive tackle Christian Barmore agrees to a four-year extension worth up to $92 million. Nice, man. Get that bag while you're on a horrible team. Here's a name no one's probably heard in a little bit. Jarvis Landry is expected to participate in Jaguars rookie camp. I miss Jarvis Landry, man. He was a dog on Miami. He was a dog on the Browns. I don't even know if he's played in like two years, though. Last I heard, he was on the, I think, Saints a few years ago but man Jarvis Landry what a time to be alive watching prime Jarvis Landry on the on the Dolphins and the Jag or not Jags of the Browns I don't understand though how NFL veterans can participate in rookie minicamp I don't know but if it'll get them back in the league, I don't think they care. Alright. Eagles rookie defensive back Cooper DeGene is willing to play wherever within their secondary. Yeah, like I said, he's literally just a secondary guy. He could play wherever you ask him to. I'm surprised that the Eagles... Okay, that should be P.I. I'm surprised the Eagles were able to get him in the second round. He should have been a first rounder. Same with Kool Aid McKinstry. So many draft slips this year. It's crazy. 
nice. Like, how is Jerzon Newton not a first rounder? That one is ridiculous in my eyes. I don't get how a Donnie Mitchell fell so far either. Like, good gravy, man. But I'm sure he is happy to be with the Colts. AR-15, Michael Pittman, Jonathan Taylor, Donnie Mitchell. That is a hell of an offense right there. Come on, Brents, run faster. Run faster, Brents. Yes, touchdown. Bengals, Dax Hill is making position switch from safety to corner. Good for him, I guess. Ezekiel Elliott signed a one-year deal to return to Dallas after being with the Patriots last year. I was trying to run, but I guess not. There we go. Uh, I still think Dallas has one of the worst running back rooms in the NFL, even after signing Zeke. Zeke is absolutely washed. I don't care if he had a decent ending to last year. Look at his season stats. Every single year, they get worse by the year since his absolutely incredible rookie year. This one I like. Tua Tagalavoa's brother, Talia Tagalavoa, is participating in Seahawks rookie minicamp. That's pretty cool. Hey, we could probably use a quarterback three, to be honest, with the way our team goes through injuries. So, can never have too many quarterbacks or running backs or offensive linemen or literally everyone. Uh, Bill signed UDFA running back Frank Gore Jr. And the uh, 49ers signed Terrell uh, Owens' son. I almost said Terrell Suggs. Terrell Owens' son is a 49er. That's pretty dope. Can't lie. All right, and the rest of the stuff is just draft nonsense that I don't need to read off because I'm sure everyone watched the draft. I am surprised. I not surprised. I'm like confused by the fact that the Patriots took Drake May at three, and then in the sixth round took Joe Milton. I got no idea about that one, but I don't know. Milton has a strong arm, though, I will say that. Can never uh, deny his talented arm, but his accuracy is a little bit spotty. <laughs> Great rushing quarterback as well. I kind of would have liked to see the Seahawks take him in maybe the 6th or 7th round. Uh, we didn't have a 7th round pick, with uh, maybe with our final pick. Instead of a guy that allowed 17 sacks. But I digress. Um, yeah, we traded for Sam Howell. But what if he's not good when he is the starter probably after next season? Yeah? Like, what? just what if? What if? I'm not saying he will be bad. Just saying, there's a possibility he could. All I'm, or I, I will say though, the Washington Commanders failed him bad. They gave up on him so early. But it's a fresh start for both of them, so I like it. I am a fan of Howell though. Also, I may or may not have already ordered a Byron Murphy jersey. I didn't. <laughs> I don't have money for that. that. I've already looked. That crap's expensive, man. Almost 300 bucks. Alright, 49-14. We take down NC Baptist. And we move up to 35 from our previous spot. 47. Nice. Praise Lopez. 514 yards. That's what happens when you don't have a running back. Okay, speed. 
And we play Virginia, I think I saw next week. Alright, discipline Watt, I guess. Yeah, we do play Virginia next week. They're one and one on four star defense, one star offense though. Check how the boys did. Four incompletions, six passing touchdowns, and a rushing touchdown for Marco Watt. Rashad Brents, 11 for 182 and two tutties. Lopez, 11, 178, three touchdowns. Literally what happens when you have no running back at all. We have a pretty decent defense. I would appreciate a running back, though. Like, I know sometimes this game is like, when it can see you don't have a position after a few weeks, they're like, oh, so-and-so has been looking at this running back or whatever position it is. And it's like, would you like to sign him with the remaining scholarship funds you have left? Normally, I say yes. And if we ever do have that with a running back, I would say yes to it, no matter what kind of running back it is, no matter what star it is, because you need a running back in this game. Let's be real. You cannot throw every play. Some people can, but I can't. I need to run the football sometimes. But that will do it. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!